Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch. And today we are talking about Unreal Engine and Australia. Two subjects that don't normally go together all that well, but today it makes all kinds of sense. And if you are a regular this channel, you know about the Unreal Engine monthly giveaways. If you are not, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest in the world of game development news. But anyways, on Tuesday, Unreal Engine, as they always do, gave away a number of free assets. There was nothing added to the permanently free category. And normally when that happens, it means we are going to get another asset later in the month. Then this month... That is proving to be true as well. So today we got an Australia asset pack. Now I gotta say straight out, this month's assets were kind of probably the weakest as of yet. Uh, we got the Modular House, German Shepherd, Farm Animal Sounds, Low Polygon Cats, and Animated Fish Pond. Definitely an animal theme this month, but nothing there that was overwhelming so far. This new asset pack for Australia, uh, like nature, is probably better than everything else that was available there. So there's a new pack available. Uh, we will get back to some of the details of the pack here on, on their website in just a second. But first, let's go hands-on and take a look at it. And here we are. So this is uh, the asset pack. I'm currently in immersion mode, uh, but you can see here, it's, uh, it's a bit of the Outback. Uh, this is one particular, here, let me just speed things up. We'll kind of walk around in it. Uh, this is one uh, sample scene of the asset packs you can do. And I have to say, uh, Australia has a very kind of unique looking uh, environment, sort of it and maybe like Nevada-ish kind of looks similar, but not a lot of other places on Earth have this desert but with nature vibe to them that I can think of anyways. But this is part of the pack. Let me just jump out of um, immersive mode here and we'll take a look at it. So, oops. There we go. I had shut down my content browser. All right, so here we are. This is one of the demo maps. There's three different samples kind of showcasing the uh, flora and fauna of the world of Australia. So we've got these nice cliff faces and so on. Really good looking effects here. Uh, so this is another one of the demo levels. Uh, let me just good, take a look around quickly. So you got nice, uh, what, what are these called? Craigs? No, not Craigs. Anyways, you got these, uh, these cliff faces here. We got some, uh, kind of deserty trees and so on. And then we got the final example over here and we'll just go and take a look at it as well. Bop, 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 bop. And more, uh, shrubs and, uh, deserts and sands and rocks and environments. Uh, you mix this in with uh, some of the stuff from Megascans that's available for free for Unreal Engine developers, and you have a pretty nice collection. By the way, that is another aspect here. Uh, is this uh, usable in other game engines? Well, basically it boils down to if it was provided by uh, Epic Games themselves, generally the answer is no. This will be for Unreal Engine only. And then finally, ooh, we had some seagulls, I think. Yep, so we got some particle bird effects going on too. That's actually kind of cool. So those are some of the examples. Here we are. This is sort of the uh, master file of all of the things there. You can see the various different uh, effects that are in here. The high resolution textures up to 8K. That's pretty impressive. All right, so let's go take a look at what all we've got here. So we've got multiple different textures. We have special effects. That's our, looks like leaves falling. Uh, we have various different props. Is that a snake? Okay, only in Australia is a snake a prop. <laughs> All right, so then we've got uh, things for scattering around the environment, you know, uh, tumbleweeds, bushes, shrubs, that kind of stuff. Uh, got some plants. We've got a number of different trees that you can go ahead and use. What is this environment called? Is this a mesa? Uh, and then we've got some other uh, dead trees down here. We've got a variety of rocks to work with, a variety of ridges to work with, and then we've got walls to work with. And then finally we have the, what do they call them? Cliffs. All right, so we got a bunch of cliff faces to work with, and then all of these are obviously modular, as we saw from the variety of different packs that were out there. So that there is the Rule Australia content pack. This one is free forever, so there is no time limit on picking it up. Let's go take a look. So here we got the, the new announcement. There's not a whole lot to be said here. Uh, it was in collaboration with Andrew Svanberg, so I think in collaboration is still going to fall under the category of Unreal Engine only license. I'm not 100% and I am not a lawyer on that one. So you can see here, it's a photogrammetry based content authentically captured on location in Australia, providing users the opportunity to construct beautifully accurate representations of the remote and harsh landscapes. Um, you've got uh, multiple LODs, simplified shaders and so on. So if you wanna use this in like a lower end title, you should be good to go. High quality optimized photogrammetry based <coughs> Australia assets, example maps, including procedurally populated one by one kilometer landscape with a country road and river canyon. Landscape set up with multiple materials and procedurally scattered. 
Uh, props such as signs, fences, and road surfaces to distribute with ease via splines. And includes a link with the project files to download high resolution textures for the nature assets up to 8K. So you're not seeing the 8K version in this particular case, but if you want, there is a download available. So you can see some of the super high resolution versions. It's, it's nice looking stuff. And if you are set in that particular environment, uh, could be a nice pack to pick up. So as mentioned, it is available on the Epic Game Store. This is under the permanently free category. So if you're interested in picking any of this stuff up, basically all you do is you come here, go to free, and then you've got uh, the uh, free for the month. So this is the first Tuesday content. So these are the assets. By the way, they added another one in uh, the this one, Farm Animal Sounds. That was added after the Tuesday release. So there is plus one. And they are really keeping with the animal theme there. So there's that. Um, and then uh, we've also got, now this new one is in the permanently free collection and it is available right there. So uh, Rule Australia, a new permanently free contact pack for the Unreal Game Engine. Uh, it, it's kind of cool. Uh, and I do have to admit, again, every time they do one of these releases and they don't have something permanently free at the first Tuesday, it seems like later in the month we're going to get another thing. I, I almost wonder if it's Epic Games have figured out that they can get double the news coverage by having two releases instead of one, which I have to admit is smart. <laughs> so uh, it could be that this is the new trend. It's happened two or three months in a row now. So I, I think what we almost could like set our watches to it, that we'll start getting just the, just, all right, I'm sounding uh, spoiled again, but it sounds like we will get just the uh, free assets to start with, um, like the five free temporary assets. And then uh, we could probably expect something free, permanently free later in the month. I do have to say it, it's amazing the number of things that we are getting from uh, Epic Games these days. Unreal Engine is getting harder and harder not to, like when you add in this, you add in all the Quixel stuff available completely free. Now we have the new MetaHuman stuff, which is free for Unreal Engine developers. If you haven't checked that out, I did a video on that as well. Uh, it, it's it's amazing, this, this, this huge amount of content that Unreal Engine are making available to developers, including these ones. and. Again, there is a link out there for a really high uh, def 8K version of this. So if you really want to see uh, where things are going. And again, all of this content is um, photogrammetry based. It means they set up a sequence of cameras to capture these elements in real life. And there is another thing Unreal Engine just did. They, they purchased uh, reality capture and made it a whole lot cheaper. Uh, and I got a feeling that it's ultimately going to end up being free for Unreal Engine developers too because Unreal. <laughs> so uh, this is... Oh, I think we're coming to the end of the end of the uh, crossings for the yeah. So from here to here, I, I am a little disappointed, especially with the animal themes that we didn't get a kangaroo in this pack. Uh, but other than that, uh, it is pretty staggering. And also, it does give you another illustration of how photogrammetry uh, is going to be more and more important to the world of game development as a way of capturing uh, high resolution but realistic models from our world. I, I, Again, you can, it doesn't work flawlessly for everything, but for certain things for sure, especially these kind of environments, it does do a very effective job. So anyways, that is the new uh, Rural Australia pack. Uh, I don't know. What do you think, mate? Uh, let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.